Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. You know, it's Wolf, and I'm back with another video. <laughs> you can see what's on the screen. You know, you can see what's on the screen. It's been a while since I reacted to a CJ the Champ video. And uh, it's been a while since he dropped one. <laughs> we, I'm not talking about that. So, yo, people. The Flamingo. The Heavenly Demon. Uh, let's get let's 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 get this this is one piece this is my bag i'm fully up to date with the anime so a lot of people that say that say they got too many too many chapters too many episodes they can catch up you know they just have to have to devise a plan and they catch up you know yeah but sometimes they can they, they can end up binging some stuff because when them cliffhangers hit the, the cliffhangers hit but yeah aside from that if you yo, welcome back to the channel you know if you're new welcome to the channel yes um subscribe if you're not, if you don't feel like subscribing as yet you can subscribe after you, you watch the content you know and um that's it follow all the socials follow me on twitch because um sometimes i'll be over there streaming sometimes you know <laughs> so you can ask me anything over there and um over over there so so <laughs> yeah Let's get this. It's all sort of, yeah. Hmm. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time <laughs> for the Dopey. most anticipated <laughs> yet riskiest. Yes, yes, toy animation Shueisha. Yo, we know it said the riskiest because yo. Toy animation be coming for people with that copyright strike of death. Yo, it's happened to uh, one of my favorite anime YouTube channels that Shueisha came for them. And, um, anime and anime balls deep, you know. Yeah, why panda name the boy? Yeah, <laughs> ABD. That's abbreviated, you know. But yeah, we we know they on anything. Yeah, but yeah, let's go. Trial of all time. Yeah, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm playing press your luck with this one. Buff yeah. It. We do this for the people, nigga. So for let's go, go ahead and get it started. Coming in at a whopping 10 feet tall. Uh, yes. Yes, you, yo, yo. The villains in, in One Piece are absurdly tall, bro. <laughs> absurdly. Yo, they, they will be getting all of it. Uh, uh, well, all the hoes, you know. <laughs> Because these dudes are taller than real real life people, you know. But yeah. Exaggeration. And with so many crimes committed, I can't even name them all right now. The Heavenly Demon, Don Quixote do Flamingo. Yes, so y'all already know how this goes. Don't the evidence up. is on deck, ready to be presented. So go ahead, grab some popcorn or something to what snack the? on. Cause without further ado, exhibit A. Yeah. Warning spoilers ahead. Go and watch the anime, you know. Yo, yo, this is back when it was the English dub. Dude sounded weird, but yeah. Don Quixote do Flamingo, one of the seven oh. warlords of the sea. Let me let me speed it up just a little bit, just a little bit, yeah, a little bit right there, so you know, you know, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, man, you have a uh, mihawk, you have boa hammock. You know, if you don't know, you know. Go and find out. Go and find out. You know. Luffy, yeah, Luffy be go crazy with the names though. See, and the king of the freaking Moria Gecko. Yeah. There's Rosa. His name is feared throughout all the seas, and his drip is unmatched. <laughs> but how did the heavenly demon become one of the biggest kingpins in the world? Well, we have to go back a good 33 years in the past. Now, do Flamingo was a celestial dragon. Now, if you don't know what a celestial dragon is, allow me to explain. These are the world nobles, aka the biggest dickheads in the yes. world. Ooh. Yes, everyone hates them. Brother, but, I mean, come on, bro. They ain't even hiding it. Look at them. They literally have dicks on their heads. They're dickheads. Look at that. This fucking alfalfa ass, jack jack ass shit on their head. Now, Saint Homing, Do Flamingo's father, decided one day, everybody, I have an announcement to make. I would like to go live with the peasants. 
Yeah. Blasphemy! Now, this is a very big deal because the Don Quixote family are world nobles living yes. in the holy land of Marijua, basically Marijua. motherfucking Beverly Hills. And Don Flamingo's dad decided, I want to go live with the regular niggas, because why not? And this is some of the stupidest shit you could possibly do because everybody hates celestial dragons because they enslave people. They're yes. assholes. They don't yes. even consider themselves human because they are the top of society. So they consider themselves gods. That's why they named themselves C Celestial Dragons. You know? Yeah, no one named them that. They named themselves that. You know? You know? You know? Yeah, okay. The whole family ends up leaving and giving up their Celestial Dragon status. And obviously, Lil Duffy wasn't f***ing with it. Bro was already complaining. Lil nigga was like, Daddy, where are the slaves? And why do I have on this present clothing? Oh, calm down, son. We're going to be living a simple, peaceful life now. Oh, Kodasan. Kodasan. Yeah, yes. His brother, his little brother, you saw his little brother right there. Why do I have on this peasant clothing? Oh, Let come down. Him right here. Is, this is uh, the Flamingo's little brother, Kurosan, the clown, you know? Well, yo, this dude has some major story behind him right here. But le let's go. Let's continue because I'm not spoiling not, not much, you know? It's all out there. You can go and watch it. Son, we're going to be living a simple, peaceful life now. It's bullshit. Now, <laughs> it's very clear that Doflamingo's dad doesn't have an ounce of evil in his body, like the other celestial dragons. Yeah, yeah. He's a simple man, but an yeah. ignorant one. And he was about to get hit with a reality check. Yes. So the next day, him and Dofi walk into town. So his dad walks up to the vendor and says, I want to buy some apples. So the vendor's like, oh, tally home, brother. You must be new here. But this dumb ass nigga ends up saying, oh, yes, me and my family are from Marijua. <laughs> You what? So everybody's yeah. shook me like, what the <laughs> fuck? If you from Marijua, you a celestial dragon, ain't you? And this dumb ass nigga is like, oh, oh, no, no, no. We we used to be celestials, but we're human now. And then it didn't help that Dolph Amigo <laughs> just started going off on everybody, calling everybody peasants and shit. So they was cooked. Because later that night, they burned down their damn house. They yeah. is trying to kill these niggas. They yeah. on some Salem witch trials type shit. Burn the yeah. celestials and burn them. So they end up running <laughs> for their life for days. Because a dumb ass daddy was so fucking ignorant, thinking that a celestial dragon could live a regular people in this no you cannot yeah and don't be yes ignorant and oblivious of the truth of the situation you put the regular people through so much well not necessarily you but you are guilty by association because you were part of that group and um um yeah <laughs> people this man Do Flamingo was shook. As a kid, this man went from the top of the world to the fucking gutter. Him and his brother got beat for trying to steal bread because they had no money. Why people just laughing at him? Look at this bad bitch and a nigga with a panda head. I'd be damned if I see a nigga with a panda head laughing at me. Like, look at little bro, this is terrible. And they mama end up getting sick and she end up dying. So at this mm -mm. point, Don't Flamingo rightfully so hates his dad, as he should. This nigga's an idiot. You broke, you stink, and now your wife dead. It can't get no worse, right? Wrong. The people end up finding them. And I don't even know if I can say this word on YouTube, so I'm just gonna bleep it. They them. These people start going off on them. I kid you not, bro right here said, I ain't got nigga now. I got the rope right here. And they just go. Yeah, they inched them. Yes, yes. I know. That's why I bleep it. That's why I said inch. Okay. Hey, you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Went off on them because they are celestial dragons. They hate them. It don't matter if Doflamingo's dad is different. You're still a celestial dragon to them. The people who treat commoners like garbage. So at this point, this was the breaking point for Dofi. Everybody just stops and just looks at him. They could feel this little nigga's anger from down there. Then bro just started talking like a rabbit dog. And then it happened. The man unlocked his conqueror's hockey. And this little nigga yeah, knocked every single person out with his aura. Now, you see, here's the thing with this. I'm not counting this as a charge. This is an act of self-defense. They yeah. hung his ass, hung his daddy ass, and his brother. So even though this man broadcasted that he got murder on his mind, he getting yeah. let off the hook with this one. So after that <laughs> life-altering incident, Dofi yeah. goes to this rundown-ass shack and ends up meeting this nasty-ass, oh, snub-nosed, yeah. hunchback, fat motherfucker. He ain't, he ain't really fat. He a skinny dude. He, 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 he looks fat. Because of his freaking, his, 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 his stick, stick, uh, sticky, sticky food, you know, peto, peto, no me. Yeah, yeah. And that, uh, <laughs> yes, he looks disgusting for real though. Always has snot running out his nose. <clears throat> Oh my god, I hate this nasty ass nigga treble. So this nasty yes. SOB says, Hey, so I heard you knocked out all those people with your hockey. Now, me and my boys will start glazing you if you pass my test. 
So Tribble gives him a gun and the Ito Ito no me. And this yes. man, Doflamingo, did not waste no time. He had murder on yes. his mind. He went back yeah. to his dad and said, fuck you, old nigga, and blew his brains out. Murdered his own father in cold blood right in front of his brother. And this right here was a good old case of patricide. Murdering yeah. your own father. So after yeah. Doflamingo murdered his father, he actually brought his head back to Marijuana to try to get his status back. But they said, hell not nah, Lee, peasant. So he ends up going back to Tribble. And him, Diamante, Pika, and Virgo said, hmm, let's glaze this little nigga to the ends of the earth. And from that day, the Don Quixote family was born. And yeah. they was not playing no games. These four niggas would do anything for Dofi. Take yo, what? Uh, yo, hey, yo. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. Yo, that that is a freaking messed up thing that to put in a kids' cartoon, bro. Yeah, penguins of penguins of Madagascar. That's what that is. For example, one day, Treble finds Dofi beat up. So he asks him, Oh, my glorious king, what happened? Ah, oh, man, some guys roughed me up. I wish they were Dofi. <laughs> okay. These dudes find the dudes that jumped them. And Treble comes up to him and says, You're the guys who roughed up Dofi, right? Yeah. <laughs> that little rock. We were just teasing them, that's all. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, bro, we was just teasing them, I swear. Shut up. They was not playing games with nobody. If Spin Dofi that. wanted you dead, guess Black. what? You're dying. If he wanted your turf, guess what? Get the packet. This man took racketeering to another level as a 10-year-old at that. And this was Dude. the wildest one. Diamante finds bro and says, Oh, my glorious king, what happened to your knee? Ah, oh, man, I just tripped on a crack in the road. Oh, and where's this crack exactly? And I kid you not, this nigga Diamante finds the crack in the road and says, Fuck it, I might as well level the whole town. <laughs> so that's what they did. They blew up the whole town. And from that day forward, the Don Quixote family was feared. Yo, and this dude, that dude right there with the food on his face. He, yo, this right here is lore. And you don't find this out until after you meet his adult version. That dude always has food on his face. And it will stick to his face <laughs> for comedic purposes, bro. <laughs> yo, he tries to clean it. It ends up somewhere else. Bro. Yo, that's funny. Niggas cleared the streets when they saw Dofi walking. Hide your kids, hide your wife, ain't nobody safe. The, the Dofi trial. Yeah. Exhibit A wrap up. Patricide. Racketeering. Yeah. Mass destruction. Mm -hmm. Multiple counts of murder. Yeah. Exhibit B. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B. Joker. We now fast forward yes. 30 years later, yes. and at this point in time, Don Flamingo is the most influential underworld broker in the game, and he is also one of the seven warlords of the sea. And before yes. he became a warlord and they froze his bounty, this man had a whopping bounty of 340 million berries. <laughs> now imagine if the nigga wasn't a warlord. God knows how high that shit would be. But anyways, we now focus our attention to Mock Town, and specifically Bellamy. Now, as we yeah. know, before this even happened, Bellamy fought Luffy and got absolutely embarrassed. One yeah. Shot it to be precise. It looks yes. like Bellamy and his crewmate, who I ain't gonna lie, I forgot his name. I think his name is like Sarquisa or Sharkisha or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> but it looks like they're fighting each other and having a falling out. But that is not the case at all. Because you see this nigga Dolphy sitting in the corner, patrolling them with his string string fruit. And this man yep. is pissed off for obvious Literally being a puppet master, bro. Right there. His reasons. Because this nigga Bellamy is trash. He got one shot by a human condom. And it was under Doflamingo's banner. The Bellamy pirates were under him. So obviously that is a hit to his reputation. So Dolphy yeah. said, fuck it, you useless piece of shit. And controls old boy like a puppet and slices him. <laughs> Had this man Bellamy begging for his life. And what makes this kind of sad? Let me give y'all a flashback real quick. Back when Bellamy was a straight young bull, bro used to look up to Doflamingo. He wanted to be just like him. I don't know why, bro was a terrible influence. It must have been the drip of the ore or some shit. But yeah. Doflamingo was his inspiration. But when they first met, Doflamingo clearly stated, if you ever lose under my flag, my Jolly Roger, I'm gonna beat your ass and make yeah. you unemployed. And well, yeah. the rest is history. But of course, <laughs> Bellamy's still begging like, B -b please, j -j 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 just give me one more chance, my glorious king. But Duffy looked at him like, Bellamy, how much you think my fit cost? Uh, 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 uh. 30,000? 56 million berries, broke ass nigga. So this man, Dofi, got up and walked away and said, my fit cost more than your whole bounty. And I have absolutely no use for broke ass niggas. And nah. slices this nigga. Bro just assaulted his most notorious glazer while firing him at the same time. Well, ain't that a hell of a way to get fired on your day off? But we really don't even. But yeah, yeah. Um, th this was back in a time where um, no one actually died in One Piece. You know, no one, no one that was going to be used for the story later on actually died. You know.
Yeah, what? Well, let's go. We get to see a glimpse of how strong this dude is until the Summit War, aka the grand opening for the greatest donut shop of all time, Crispy Aces. So before the war even started, you already knew bro was all time. I mean, look at this bloodthirsty ass nigga, bro, hitting the Uzi tongue. Nah. But the first that this was before Uzi's time, so Uzi stole it from him, bro. This he just making a reference so that um people that don't know can 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 make a connection, you know? Yeah. First victim of this man's bloodlust was none other than Lil Lors, big ugly ass boy. So Lil Lors mm. is just stomping on niggas, trying to make his way to save El Donut. But this big boy ends up getting jumped in yeah. brutal fashion too. So it started yeah, off with brutality. Kuma, which I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was about to roast the shit out this man, but I just caught up on the manga. And after reading that backstory, I, I don't want to roast you, bro. So even though you built like an egg with some damn chicken legs, <laughs> you off the hook, my nigga. So anyways, yeah. Kuma shocks the shit out this nigga, had yeah. this man orc spazzing. And this man was so cooked, but he said, Hell Yes, no. that's the Ursa shock, you know? This is just shocker. Yeah, man, that's how we pronounce it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yo, this is how I na normally am, you know? I need to bring more anime type reactions to the channel, and I'm, and I'm gonna do that, you know? Yeah. Because I can't just stick around the um, music all the time, you know? Everything that I enjoy, I'm gonna bring it to you. <laughs> yeah. I'm at least taking out somebody with me. So he ends up aiming for Dofi, and bro just looked at it like, Really, nigga? So bro ends up destroying the whole wall, but bro he ain't hit shit. Cause you see this? The flying thinking he's Cardi. <laughs> then he talking shit to him in the air, too. What's wrong, pussy? The donut man is right there. And you knew Ors was cooked because Dofi made this man see his backstory. That's how you know your screen time <laughs> over. So Dofi ain't gonna amputate it, bro. Cut that yeah. big ass leg clean off. And he's just laughing his ass off and saying, This is what you get for being a tripless Neanderthal. And then yeah. Echo Moria's hog back, bowling pin built ass, and with yeah. that. <laughs> and it was rap. Yeah, them boys yeah. murdered Lil Lords, but Doflamingo was mm. not done racking up these murder charges. So later on, Viking Humpty Dumpty ends up pulling up and saying, Doflamingo, fuck you in that feathered ass coat, nigga. So bro runs at him and tries to swing at him, but he stops. And Dofi just started talking shit, saying, What's wrong, Water Buffalo? Are you too mesmerized from all my sauce? And y'all already know what he did. He hit bro with his strings. He wasn't moving yeah. an inch. So all these other dudes end up running up. And yeah, a massacre was about to ensue. Bro right here runs up. He gets his balls chopped off. And Dofi just started puppeteering this man and making him kill his own men. This was yep. just tragic, but also despicable. You made this yep. man kill his own men. That's fucked up, bro. And while bro is massacring these dudes, this man gives off one of the greatest speeches I've ever heard. And everything he said in this speech is 100% facts. Now, obviously, I can't play the audio, but I'm going to text it out for us. We're going to do a quick English project real quick. So here we go. Pirates are evil. The Marines are righteous. <laughs> these Ooh. terms have always changed throughout the course of history. Kids who have never seen peace and kids who have never seen war had different values. <laughs> Those yeah. who stand at the top determine what's wrong and what's right. Yeah. This very place is a neutral ground. Justice will prevail, you say? Of course it will. Whoever wins the war becomes justice. <laughs> this motherfucker. Bars. Bars right there. That, that dude becomes, became Shakespeare, right? Okay. <laughs> was cooking even though he's pure evil he is actually speaking legitimate facts and you yep. can't deny it so after yep. this i ain't even gonna lie to you duffy just basically had a drip off a crocodile for the rest of the war so i'm just translate this whole conversation for you oh hell no get aboard my nigga i got a proposition for you you got drip i got drip you gets money i gets money so what you say tag team man fuck you you pink feather flamboyant feminine ass nigga oh no nah, <laughs> shut the fuck up with that fake ass gold claw i know you got that shit from timu fuck you and fuck you too you tobacco loving chain smoking son of a bitch <laughs> now most yeah. of this fight sadly happened off screen but hey only oh to know how long this sauce off went on for it so fast forward all the way to the end of the war and you just see explosions in the background and the reason why is because doflamingo was jumping the 60 percent body fat eggplant because he basically had an assassination order from somebody up high but yes. moria somehow lived I, I don't know how but it don't matter nigga that's still attempted murder now yes yes he lived and then further on down uh, they got him you know they got him i won't tell you that the specifics but they they got him you know it's time to move three years later. And at this yeah. time, Doflamingo's criminal enterprise is thriving. This yes. nigga is anime El Chapo. And I mean, this mm. man did everything from arms dealing and gun running to massive drug labs, one in Punk Hazard and yes. one in Dress Rosa, producing yes. smile fruits for Kaido and had yes. none other than Caesar Clown cooking that shit up. Mm. And I kid you not, these smile fruits was fucking niggas up. For example, take a look at Wano. Smile fruits hit Wano like crack in the 80s. This man is solely <laughs> responsible for supplying these niggas to cause a drug Drug epidemic. Look how this shit hit neighborhoods in Wano, bro. They thought these hoes was just regular apples. Hell no. Nah. These hoes was laced and everybody was in. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
no, no, that you diabolical CJ for that one. You diabolical. Even them, even the kids, and they lost all emotions except for smile and laughter. They no man, no man. They didn't lose emotions. They still had the emotions, but they kept could not express them. You could only express smile and laughter, even if you were extremely sad. If your parents just died, no. Um, so that is how they like the ability to express other emotions like visually. But if they were they if they were crying, they were laughing with tears coming down their face with a big smile on their face. Because the, the smile fruits uh, had a freaking side effect that is in the name. They made you smile. And that was permanent. They might give you a devil fruit ability if you're lucky. But uh, but um it always comes with the smile. And and um and if you're unlucky, you only get the smile effect. You don't get the powers. They basically ate Joker Venom. Yeah, hell nah. The Don Quixote family needs to change their name to the Don Quixote cartel expeditiously. So now yes. we end up catching up with Dofi at one of his Dofi parties. Because you know what they say? There ain't a party like a Dofi party. And no. he gets a call from <laughs> Punk Hazard saying... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's a punk hazard. But don't <laughs> dang. Do call it a new Diddy and dang, that's crazy. That's wild. Oh young master, the straw hats, law, and G5 is fucking with our product. Operations have halted. So this man took extreme measures and basically said, Motherfucker, you think that's my problem? I got bitches here. Oh my god, don't see come in the water. <laughs> Hold on, ladies. The party's just getting started. Motherfucker, blow up the island. I'll send somebody to pick up Caesar's bitch ass later. Now, sadly, Doflamingo's plan to blow up the lab failed miserably because of Caesar's yeah. dumbass. So this man was so pissed <laughs> off, he said, fuck it, niggas. Yo, Flight's laugh is gonna go down in history as a meme, bro. As a meme. And a lot of people don't even know that 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 the laugh track he using is his flight flight reacts, you know. <laughs> and get shit done. So I'ma do it myself. So this man web slinged all the way to Punk Hazard. So later on, yes. while G5 basically has the island under control, this man Dofi flies in, saucy as fuck, Ooh. and just hits a superhero landing. And everybody in G5 is stunned. They like, oh my god, that drill, the aura is Doflamingo. And yes, the dude web slings off clouds, you know. He he attaches the string. Uh, uh, up from his fruit to the clouds and he moves across <laughs> a great distance in lo in short short periods of time and look at this people thought he was flying at one point but they um yes right here is when we found out that he was actually attaching his strings to the to the cloud 10 foot nigga towering over these midgets nigga fuck being a drug lord go to the league and don't he ain't waste no time bro <laughs> said the beagle off Hey. 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 This man knocked out damn near every single soldier with Conqueror's hockey. Didn't even lay a hand on him. Just hit him with the sauce. But he wasn't done. He ends up webbing up all the other Marines' guns and made them oh, all yeah. aim at each other. And this man elegantly no. made them all shoot each other while hitting his yeah. saucy ass flip. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bro just murdered I don't know how many people, but he did it in the sauciest way possible. So then this one Marine is begging for his life. He like, please, I have a family. Nigga, fuck your family. They should be ashamed of your broke ass. I know yeah. you don't get no paper. I know mm. bitch be fucking other niggas behind the mm. back. You fucking knock. Mm. So what got so mm. bad? Smoker had to intervene. But yes. my God, this man got washed. Look at his sorry. You can't even land a hit. This is why you're not making admiral, buddy. Look at him. Mm. Bro tried to punch him in the dick. Duffy looked at him like, whoa, slow down there, you freaky fuck. And this is how you know this man Smoker is washed. This man already breathing heavy as hell, and they yes. only been fight for 30 seconds. But yes. then some of Smoker's men end up coming and try to bail him out. But bro tried to be chivalrous and save him, but ends up getting met with razor sharp strings and ends up getting flung. And after Smoker got cooked, Dopey just got real disrespectful. He sat on bro, grabbed his face like your mom about to beat your ass and was about to kill him. But Smoker ended up getting the bail out of the century. Cause Al Kiji pulled up and said, yes. all right, big dog, we gonna have to stop. Al Kiji. Al Kiji san. Blue faison. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm I'm doing too much. <laughs> but that 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 is literally the dude right there. The, the coldest dude. Yes, literally. Because of his devil food power. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude stepped up. Hmm. And you see, Doflamingo is a smart man because he knows he can't win this fight. You think he's going to fight a formal admiral and get embarrassed? Hell nah. Bro said, I'll take my leave. I got bigger fish to fry. And that fish, of course, is Law in the Straw Hats. Yeah. And especially Law because these niggas got generational beef. Yeah. The, 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 the Yep. Exhibit B wrap up.
assault and battery, murder, yep. mass murder, yep. arms trafficking, mm -hmm. drug manufacturing, possession, and trafficking. Yep. Exhibit C. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for Exhibit C, Corazon. So, yes, there is Corazon. a reason why his brother. Yes, I, I told you. I told you. I told you in the yeah. Okay, let's let's continue. Let's continue. Law has mad beef with Dofi, and it mm -hmm. all started 16 years ago. Now, when Law first came to Doflamingo, he was very sick. He had white lead disease, and his whole family is dead because the world mm -hmm. government decided to murder everybody in that town because they all had that disease. So they raccoon city that bitch. Now Law didn't have that much time left to live, but Dofi kept him around and said, "There's a chance that you might be able to live if you get this devil fruit called the op op fruit, because you'll be able to heal yourself." Also, the fruit's busted. So. Law ended up sticking around with him, doing some piracy, robbing some banks, and of course, catching bodies. And Dofi's yeah. main objective was basically to groom Law to become his right-hand man. Now, here's where everything goes to shit. Corazon, aka Doflamingo's brother, Rosinante, yes. basically yes. told him- Rosinante. Yes, yes. The, the dude literally became a clown that didn't speak, you know? That didn't speak. Hey, little nigga, you got D in your name, and if Dofi figures out you- Um. But he 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 didn't speak, but he spoke to certain people, you know, certain people he spoke. But to everyone else, he was just a stupid, silent clown. You know, got to make these people think otherwise, you know, think the opposite of what you what, what you actually are. You know, you got D in your name. He gonna kill your little ass, because if you got the big D in your name, you are a mortal <laughs> enemy of the celestial dragons. Yeah. And also Corazon is a narc. No, not narc. He a double agent, but that, that's probably that's probably they, they probably um think that's the same thing. But he was never on Dofi's side, you know. He, he was a double agent. I'm a rat. I ain't no snitch. He is a <laughs> undercover marine trying to take down his evil brother. So you can kind of see what this is. These two are basically opposites and the what ifs of a tragic outcome. Doflamingo wants to burn the fucking world because yes. fuck everybody. And Corazon yes. wants to do good in the world and basically stop his brother because he's a crazy bastard. So mm -hmm. Corazon ends up taking Law around for like six months trying to find a cure for his disease and getting him away from Dofi. Now, while this was going on, Dofi called them and said, come back to the ship. We got a lead on the op op fruit and we can cure Law's disease. Now with this in Yo, yo, that, 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 that beat, bro, that 007 Golden Eye pause menu beat right there, that right there. Mine, Corazon decided, let's just go steal it so we can cure your disease and go into hiding. So Corazon gets the information from the Navy to where the fruit actually is. So later on, they end up getting to the island and Corazon ends up stealing the fruit, yeah, yeah, but yeah. at the expense of getting shot the fuck up. So after bro got shot up, but somehow survived, he made Law eat the fruit. And after that, he no. Yo, hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, stop using that freaking soundbite. I know that, yo, something's up with CJ, though. Something's up with CJ. He, 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 he too comfortable with that. Well, yeah, he's American, you know, he's American. And you know, all, everyone over there, well, not everyone. I'm not going to generalize, generalize an entire country, but yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Him. This is some important intel I need you to give to the Navy that's on this island right now. So while Law went to go search for a Marine to give the note to, he found one, but the wrong one. Because the Marine he gave it to was Virgo. Dof yes, literally. Virgo is a double agent, but he's on the side of the Flamingo, you know? And you, as you can see, as an adult, the dude still has food on his face, you know? He's undercover agent in the Marines. So Law brought Virgo all the way back to Corazon, and Virgo was like, what the fuck, Corazon? Oh, you narc-ass nigga. And Virgo ended up reading the intel and kicks his face in. And Virgo did not hold back. He beat the shit out of Corazon. And then after that, he beat Law's ass. So then after they get their ass beat, Dofi arrives on the island. And this man is dripped out of his mind and pissed because his own brother was a rat. And Doflamingo knew something was off too because those six months that Corazon was gone, the Navy was off they ass. And every time Corazon was there, the Navy was there. So it was all over for his little bro. Dofi ends up setting up his birdcage over the island so nobody can leave. And he just went on a rampage until he found his brother, killing literally anybody and everybody that was in his way. Yeah. So later on, when the family finally finds Corazon, they jump the hell out of this man, eat the rat piss out of him, and play baseball with his body. Oh yeah. my. <laughs> and this was just horrible. This man Gladius went to his body and said, How dare you put Drake the family with you rat ass nigga? So after they jumped him, mm. Doflamingo came up to him and said, Corazon, 
my baby brother, a fucking narc. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Cause on, you know how hard it is to kill your own flesh and blood again. And my God, it, it pains me to do it. But do me a favor, baby brother, and say a load of pops for me. Dude ventilated him. Ventilated him. Yo. Mm -mm. This man, Doflamingo, dumped about 10 bullets in this nigga Ooh. and murdered his own little brother in cold blood. The, the Dope Do Trial. <laughs> Exhibit C wrap up. Piracy. Grand yeah. larceny. Murder. Mass murder. Yeah. Fratricide. Exhibit D. Y'all ready, ladies and gentlemen? It is now time for Exhibit D. The usurpation of Dress Rosa. Now, yes. the Flamingo, as we know, is the king of Dress Rosa. But how did he become king? Yeah, <laughs> you might need to sit back <laughs> for this one. So, 10 years before the present. Oh, and Dress Rosa is where, where he, 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 he met. He, his reign came to an end, but he's not going to include that in this. Or I don't think so. Dress Rosa was a very peaceful nation that knew no types of war and had a honest king named King Riku. Now the people yes. love King Riku. They'd glaze this man to the end of the earth. But sadly, this would change. Riku. Riku sama. Change in a single night. So on that tragic night, Doflamingo flew to the king's private quarters. So he pulled up, woke this nigga up, and said, Don't even try calling for help, or I will slit your fucking throat right now. So Dofi basically explained to the king that this land, matter of fact, this whole country belongs to me. And I finally come back to take back what's rightfully mine. So the thing is that the Don okay. Quixote family used to rule over Dress Rosa about a good 800 years ago. Till they abandoned it and became celestial dragons. And now Dofi is back to claim what's his. Now he gave the king a ultimatum. He basically told him, we can either A, I will take over this entire kingdom and kill everybody, or B, you can buy my kingdom for 10 billion berries. So what's it gonna be, old nigga? Genocide or run your pockets? So obviously the king had no choice. He had to run his pockets, but he ain't have enough money. So for the sake of the kingdom, he had to send out his soldiers and beg the people for money. And obviously the people are confused. They like, fucking Riku, we just paid our taxes a month ago. Yeah, man, this is some bullshit. I can't even pay my child support. I just got pregnant the other day. How am I supposed to take care of my child? So King Riku had to get on the big screen, get on all fours and said, please. We're broke. I know. It's shit. Y'all just pay taxes. But fuck. We need this goddamn money. So the people said, you know what? Something must be wrong. Our glorious king needs help. So every single citizen they had emptied every dime they had because they trusted their king because he ain't ever done them wrong. So everything seems to be fine. They paid off Doflamingo and they should be scot-free, right? No. He took your money and took your shit. They all all together, bro. Yo. He took the money and still took the country. Ugh. Psych! In the distance, you see this man, King Riku, coming at them on a horse. So obviously the soldiers think, Ah, oh, King Riku, we got the money. You didn't have to come all the way out here. But this man, King Riku, is crying and saying, Run away! I beg your pardon? And the king starts slaying people and blowing shit up. And yes, that's Doflamingo's puppet. Puppet. Puppeteering, you know. He is literally a puppet king, literally, right there. And right, um, 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 this was yo, this was such a heart wrenching scene, bro. Not having control of your body, being 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 manipulated by some evil villain, and uh, everyone thinking you have gone mad and attacking your own subject. You know, yeah, right, that's all. You already know what's going on. In the shadows, Doflamingo is controlling this man and making him kill his people. So Dofi didn't tell the king, but there was a option C, and that was to do both genocide and run your pockets. And the yes. king wasn't the only one getting control. Dofi decided to control the soldiers as well and made them slaughter everybody. And they didn't spare nobody. Look at this. This is a mama and her son. And this nigga said, pay your taxes. Look at this poor couple. This brother just got done baking at the bakery with all this cake. Just for yeah. this man King Riku to come and blow birthday packs out. And this went on <laughs> for the whole night. Now yes. here's the part that's gonna make you sick. Doflamingo and his crew are just up here watching this. And when the time was right, he said, all right, boys, it's showtime. These yeah. niggas hop down and knock out these soldiers getting- Yes. And acting like they were the heroes saving everyone, bro. They literally 
gaslight their entire existence right there. And they did not know. They did not know. They freaking caused the problem and solved it to um, install themselves as the as the, the de facto rulers of this country going forward. Everybody's attention and Doflamingo says, Greetings everyone, my name is Don Quixote Doflamingo and I've come to save you! Yeah. Now this is a straight Homelander ass move. Bro yes. made the king and his guards kill their own people just to come in and save the day. And this was the tragic part. He controlled the king. Yo, this was done before the boys was a thing, bro. You saying a Homelander ass move, but Homelander took freaking Don Quixote's whole flow. Do Flamingo's whole flow. I'm telling you. <laughs> I know that the comics for for the boys was was uh, around for a while, but I'm not sure how long. But the manga was was there before, <laughs> so people can can get the correct timelines. But I knew he just did that again for the reference. Same thing with like he did with little Uzi for the reference, so that people can make a, a connection. Yes, because a lot of people don't know. I know what he do, he's doing, but. I'm here to clarify that, yes, Doflamingo did it first, you know? Yeah, right there, so. Now back to it here, people. King said, come on over. Make sure you look good for the camera. So bro jumps down and smacks the shit out this nigga on live TV in front of everybody. And just off of that, this man just committed the greatest PR stunt of all time. Because the yes. people are like, oh, oh my God, he, he, he saved. Yeah, hell yeah, brother! And they chanted this man's name throughout the night while hoisting the king's body in the air like a trophy. And that yeah. night, Doflamingo usurped the throne and became the king of Dressrosa. Now, after Doflamingo became king, he started to do some even more evil shit. For an example, using sugar to turn damn near half the population into toys and making yes. their families forget about them. Yes. These yeah, sugar and her fruit. Uh, yes. It, she can she turn people into toys and erases them from people's from the their family members memory yeah everyone's memory but the toys are actually actually slaves working for no money yes uh, yeah and and this type of sla slavery when they uh, um they they enslave the tontata people yeah I'm tired of low niggas to basically be slaves and work in his drug lab had some of the old soldiers become gladiators and forced them to basically kill each other and apparently yes. he did something with viola i don't even know if this is true but a lot of people say it is so uh i'm just leave this here freaky what? ass nigga here 69 god freaky ass nigga here 69 <laughs> god hey hey hey, hey viola <laughs> exhibit d wrap up yeah. blackmail genocide yeah usurp shit brainwashing slay labor yeah. Exhibit E. E. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our final exhibit. Exhibit E, the Heavenly Demon. We now set our sights mm -hmm. on an island called Greenbed, just off the coast of Dressrosa, and we are observing a trade, well, what was supposed to be a trade, between Law and Doflamingo. Now, Law took Caesar as hostage after Punk Hazard to get some leverage on Doflamingo and make him leave the Warlords so he would lose his Navy immunity. And also, Dofi needs Caesar to make some more of his smile product. But tragically for Law, this plan failed miserably because yeah. Doflamingo was two steps ahead. Because this man used his celestial dragon leverage on the government and falsified a whole story about how he left the Warlords, when in reality, he did it. And he had this man Law shoot. He ain't know what the fuck to do. His whole plan blew up in his face. So Law was like, <laughs> ah, shit. Well, I'm just gonna So this man Law got the running while Doflamingo was hawking his ass down. And it didn't help that Fuji Torres ass was here trying to drop yeah, meteors on the nigga. Yeah, and this man Law was fighting for his life in this jungle. Look at Dofi come behind him. Nigga, finger sniped him. Brought this man Law to his knees. Then he came down and told him, I got that. You ain't going nowhere, little nigga. I've been waiting to kill your ass for 13 motherfucking years. And look at Dofi, bro. This nigga think he's Spider Man. Out here just webbing shit up and throwing it at him. And I don't mm. even know how long this game of tag lasted. Info, because we know how that dress Rosa Payson was good god but anyway yes, bro they ended yes. up getting to the beach and while Duffy's chasing Law he ends up hearing a loud ass scream and it was from the sunny from Chopper Nami and Brooke being loud as shit and Duffy just looked over there with a big old smile on his face like oh law you done fucked up now so this man flew over to the ship hosted up on him and Duffy was ready to make the sunny the Titanic but out of nowhere here comes final form Sip Sanji out here yelling yep 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 yo and Sanji taking major L's in the late in the latest part of the at the manga bro he he basically he basically being they not like us you know when it comes to freaking bunny you know and canonically 
Bunny is a 12 year old child, you know? Mm. So, and I, I think Sanji does know that she might look, a, a look different because of a freaking devil fruit, but don't get it twisted, man. Don't get it twisted. I think, yo, it is my theory that no one else knows, but um, let me put it out here right now. First hearing it on Wolf Summer HD's channel, you know, um, you know, Usopp got punishment for, for leaving the Straw Hats and disrespecting the captain. Sanji did not get any punishment for leaving the Straw Hats and disrespecting his captain. But the, 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 um, the destruction of Sanji's character um, when it comes to this, this weird behavior, you know, you know, this, this, this lock him up and FBI open up behavior, you know, might be um, Oda's way of, 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 of um, punishing Sh Sanji without actually writing it into the story to, uh, or, 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 or outright saying it. But that's just my theory. So, because Zoro didn't know that um, <laughs> Sanji, Sanji kicked Luffy in his face and, and, uh, while, uh, while he was about to marry Puddin. You know? So, that's just my theory. That's just my theory. I, um, Oda has to come out and confirm it, but... He he's a busy man, you know. He he has to draw these manga manga panels, you know. But that is what I'm thinking, and it is deserved. He needs to get that get get the punishment that comes with disrespecting your captain and leaving the crew, you know. Mm -hmm. Yelling at this man like, stay away from my nummy swan. Like, oh come on, she's not gonna you. let you hit. But anyways, Duffy did not take this fight seriously at all. Look at him, he got this big-ass grin on his face. Then this man threw out his attack, backflipped for style points, and told him, Well, hello there, buddy. Let's not burn the coach. This shit costs more than your life. <laughs> Bro, had this man Sanji cooked in one hit. But Sanji yes. started thinking to himself while he was free-falling. Oh, if I beat Doflamingo, Nami Swan might let me hit. Get up! So this man Sanji got a second win and started trying to kick the life out of this man. But Dofi just put out his hand and said, time out. Bro had this man Sanji just stuck in the air. And bro just looked at him and told him, the fuck I just told you about fucking up my coat. I already told your ass this shit costs more than your life. So this yeah. man charged up this overheat and he was ready to kill Sanji. But right when Dofi was about to hit him, there come Law with the boom. And he ended up teleporting Dofi away from Sanji. And you could tell this man Dofi had the intent mm. to kill this man. Because he had to throw the attack out and it landed all the way back in Dress Rosa and just cut a building in half. Yeah, buddy, that's attempted murder. You tried to put this simp six feet under so this man law had to take this miniature big back big mom as a hostage so his straw hat could escape but later on big they ended up having a standoff on this bridge and i kid y'all not this was not a fight this was a sheep coming to the slaughter i mean yeah. look at this man law he running for his life again my double mingos just cutting the bridge in half and yelling yeah. at him like what's wrong pussy i thought you was gonna spin back the car but you still a bitch but law yeah. at least tried something he tried to throw all the debris at him but Dofi just cut it to pieces then yeah. law tries to come behind him but Dofi hits a perfect parry dodges the attack then yeah. shatters this man's yeah. With his foot, and the beating just got worse from here. This was like a parent whooping their kid's ass for being disobedient as hell. I mean, look at this. He came down and kicked the shit out of him again, then just started spamming bullet strings at him. Even took out his legs. Bro was literally rolling around and screaming in pain. And this wasn't even the worst part. Do Flamingo walked up to him, lifted up his hand, and he slapped this nigga across Dress Rosa. And, oh god, this was probably this man's most savage moment in the whole series. Law is already cooked, but Do Flamingo decided. Remember when you had lead poisoning, Law? Let's see if you remember how that felt. And he started dumping bullets mm. of lead in him. And look at his freaky ass nigga. I've been yeah. looking at blood. Hell no. And Law was done. He should have been dead. The amount of plot armor Law had in this. Yes, I'm telling you, important characters, you know, important characters that are going to be uh, important going forward in, into, the, into the rest of the story, into the end game of the story. They're not going to die, you know? So yeah, arc is fucking ridiculous because this is not the first time bro should have died as we will see later. So now we fast forward a fat minute all the way till sugar got knocked out and all the toys turn into people again. And the whole population turns on Doflamingo because they realize, wait a minute, this nigga's an asshole. He turned half the population into toys, brainwashed us and committed a coup d'etat. Get this nigga yes. out of here. So then the one legged demon Kiros came in and cut off this man's head and everybody's in that's a, yeah, that's a fake. Duck, everybody like, oh my God, Dofi just died to a side character? Psych! 
Niggas yeah. thought it was gonna be that easy. Yeah, this man can use string clone jutsu. So he got behind yes. Kiros and kicked the roof off of the palace. Yes. God, this man got some strong ass legs with them fucking leg hairs he got. So then here come Luffy trying to be a hero, <laughs> even though he's a terrorist. Out here trying to hit that man with that Jet Gatlin. But the clone came behind him, blew his back out. Then Dofi looked at him, cocked back his fist, and told him, Get the fuck off my property, broke ass nigga. Hit Luffy so hard, probably made him even more stupid in the head. So he made Pika throw everybody off the cliff. And at this point, it was over for everybody in Dressrosa. This man set up the birdcage, got yes. on the big screen and said, people of Dressrosa, I'm just going to go ahead and let y'all know this now. I have fucking hated all you stinky ass peasants ever since I came to this fucking island. So now yes. all you fuck ass niggas can go fuck yourselves. So let's play a game. If you kill any of these bitch ass niggas on this board, especially that long nose, Pinocchio, nappy headed ass fuck, <laughs> I will make you rich. What did you say fuck me for? Oh, and you also have- Because you freaking fr your face frightened sugar and, and knocked her out so her ability got undone, you know? So that's why yeah <laughs> that's why you got most of the heat you know i have 24 hours before i destroy this fucking island so this man Dofi sent the island into chaos this man started another genocide just because he got pissed off so now it was finally time for the malice at the palace one piece edition law and luffy versus doflamingo oh i forgot and bellamy's here bruh bro was yeah. emotionally abusing this man the entire arc we all know that bellamy's this man's biggest glazer so Dofi decided to use this man as a puppet look at luffy don't try to kick him and Dofi just used bellamy's face as a human shield he was straight <laughs> up abusing this nigga then look at him he put bro on some strings and said dance nigga go fuck up that walking condom for me but law and Luffy was just mad at Dofi for just watching him in that chair. So they hit that man with that Red Hawk team up. And Luffy really punched the shit out this bro. man. This is the first time you see bro actually hurt. Bro yeah. mad as hell thinking in his head like, Motherfucker, I know what just did he get hit by this nigga in them broke ass sandals. But that man Dofi said, hell no, nah, he ain't getting away with that one, buddy. So bro started spamming them bullet strings at Luffy. Sent his stupid ass flying again. Then he decided to stab the shit out of law. Bro said, sit your bitch ass down before I beat the shit out you again, boy. Then he hit this man Luffy with a nasty combo. Bro launched him in the air, grabbed him with his strings, then yanked him all the way back to Bellamy who he was controlling and sliced them. Oh my goodness. These boys was really getting cooked by a man with a flamingo coat and some short ass capris. So Dofi yes. kicked Luffy's face in again, separating him and Law and making Luffy fight Bellamy. And my God, Law, this man took probably the worst beating in the series right here. Just look at this. Dofi ended up grabbing Law, then makes them both somersaults, crashing into the ground, and amputated this nigga Law's arm. Yeah another yes. case where law should be dead in this arc but this yes. next part is really when law should have been fucking dead dofi walks up to him puts the gun up to him and tells him die like the broke ass nigga you are then just started shooting this man over and over and over and over again he shot so many bullets in him he kept on pulling the trigger thinking he had some more and again dude as dude survived more shots than 50 cent i want that i'm telling you is that okay to say is that okay <laughs> i'm not i don't care but yeah 50 knows, you know? Let's go. <laughs> this is another instance of where Law should have died in this arc. Nigga cheated yes. death three times just mm -hmm. for him to get up and hit Duffy with a game of my breath. And Law really thought he was him right here. He was talking crazy to Doflamingo and saying, yeah, this is my get back for Korra, nigga. So he yeah. hits Doki with a counter shot, basically with all the power he has left. And Law think he done killed him. Yeah, but no, this man rose from the dead like the Undertaker. And you want to know how this man survived that attack? He stitched his organs together with his strength. Nigga gave himself surgery mid-fight. So Doflamingo yes. was standing up. <laughs> yes, also Far Cry type ish, bro. Also, Far Cry type ish. <laughs> Literally. Over Law, about to smash this man's head in and get a fatality. But Hold here it. come Luffy, bailing out Law. Nigga, how many times is Law gonna get bailed out this fucking arc? Like, dog, you should be dead. This nigga Law gotta be a cat or some shit, because he gotta have like nine lives or something. So here comes that Nika Luffy himself. Bro, kicked off them dusty, busted, broke ass sandals and transformed into this fat ass balloon. <laughs> so obviously, yes. when Don Flamingo first saw Gear Force, he was laughing his ass off. Yes, Blah. yes. Everyone was like, <laughs> everyone was crazy, you know? Yeah. But this. This was when Luffy showed off some actual power-ups after that time skip, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was like, what the fuck is this? Am I supposed to be scared of you, nigga? You turned into a balloon. But Luffy yes. was done playing games. He punched the living shit out of Dofi. This man flew all the way down to the streets. And I ain't gonna lie, Dofi started getting dog walked. This man ain't yeah. felt so much pain since he was getting beat as a child. But this man, Doflamingo, went to his last resort. He said, fuck it. I'm already destroying the country, so I might as well turn everything into strength. So he ends up. Yes, he, uh, he awakened his devil fruit right there. Yes, that's the first time we saw a devil fruit awakening, bro. At least. I don't remember. Yes, we saw it. Um, we saw the zone awakens 
in, back in Impel Down, but um, that was, uh, 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 you know, that 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 wasn't epic, you know, as all these ones were, you know. I'm using this awakening. They're just throwing buildings up, just swinging at him. But Luffy still did not care. He flew over to this man and hit him with that Leo bazooka, and Luffy yeah. went to fly and just pinned in the mountain. This fight should have been over right here, but nope, the mm -hmm. plot kicked in because Luffy ran out of time on Gear Force. The man yes. literally <laughs> deflated right before he yeah. was about to finish him, and this gave Luffy enough time to recover. And this man was more pissed off than ever. Yeah. He went on a rampage looking for this man Luffy. Right started yeah. killing everybody. It got to the point where if you got in this man's way, you died. Then he started yeah. moving the birdcage in closer. He was about to wipe the whole island off the map. So then here come Viola trying to do something against this. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> 69 God. And I'm not even going to waste no time on this. Y'all already know what happened. She got beat the fuck up. I don't even know why she tried this. Like, sure, no. You are her getting your head smashed in. And then look at this, bro. He started hanging her by the string. Oh, no, nigga. My nigga, this is harassment. Nah, buddy. You're done. You're done after this. We know you did it. The allegations had to be true, especially after this scene. You was not like us, buddy. This image is staying exactly like it is. And then you tried to make Rebecca kill her dog. Nah, this man, Doflamingo, is pure evil. This man is a sick ass nigga. So thank God Luffy finally came over and he said, hell nah. Yo, ass is going to jail so he charged up that king kong gun and yelled at that nigga take your freaky ass to impel down and yes. blasted this man dofi through the earth's crust and it yes. was over anime diddy was finally defeated <laughs> so after this they locked this man up in the depths of impel down and this man should never get out again but let's be honest with ourselves sometime sooner or later this nigga's getting out somebody yes. go make the call to jayoma <laughs> and with that ladies and gentlemen with all these damn charges this is why this man is on this round table there should be no discussion this is one sick ass nigga. So yeah, uh, the faded Doflamingo video. <laughs> we finally did it. Now y'all know damn well what might happen to this. So uh, yeah, hey, fingers yeah. crossed. Uh, yeah. Throw it animation. Throw it animation. Yeah, yeah. They might, they might, they might spin the block. You know, they might spin the block. But yeah. <laughs> like the video for good luck, I guess. Hey, yeah. hey, hopefully we make it through. But anyways, man, hope y'all enjoy. And until then, I'm out this house. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, dog. Nah. That was that was wonderful, people. That was crazy. That was crazy. I enjoyed that. Hopefully, you enjoyed the reaction too, and my comments. You know, put, yo, put put it all in the in the in the comment section. You know, uh, what you think, all your opinions, and all of that. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. You know, it's the wolf. Peace out. It take mass. Let's get this. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Follow all the socials. Yeah, links in the description. Follow the Twitch. Yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Later.